Ooh, looks like we got a new character coming in. Kind of a fun one. Chrysanthemum, or however you say his name. Um, he's the big, black, aggressive Wookiee from Book of Boba Fett. And he was very aggressive, actually. I'm, I'm used to Chewie and, and Tarful and Zalbar and all of them. They're not... This guy's ridiculous. <laughs> um, tank, very fitting. Yep, I was going to say, he'd make a solid tank, and then boom, it says tank has a second thing. Makes sense. Um, Hardy Bounty Hunter tank with... Hut Cartel Synergy. Hmm, that must be a new thing. Hut Cartel? We don't have that yet, so I wonder if there's any characters um, currently in the game that, that that have gotten the Hut Cartel added to them. I mean, obviously someone like Greedo would make sense, so Greedo must be part of the Hut ca um, Cartel. This picture is pretty cool. I like this picture. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into it. Um, if you hear a bunch of ruckus in the background, I wasn't going to address this, but like I'm sitting in the parking lot in a, in a fairly abandoned area, and there's trailer trucks just pulling up now out of nowhere. So, so much for the abandoned. <laughs> I tried to roll up my window, and then this guy drove down to my other side. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into this. It says, hey, Hall Table Heroes. Chrysanthemum, the vicious Wookiee warrior, is coming to the Hall Tables. Chrysanthemum is a bounty hunter tank who specializes in protecting his hot cartel allies. His special ability, Dismember, introduces a new debuff, Disarm. Disarm reduces a unit's critical damage and offense and inflicts them with damage over time whenever they use a basic ability. Ooh. Damage over time whenever they use a basic? Dang. That's a, that's a pain in the dick. You know, one thing I've been noticing is it seems like all these characters, every time they come out with a new character, they A, have an Omicron, which I think that's the plan moving forward. Every new character will have an Omicron. Just like over time, I think the plan is for all existing characters to get Omicrons, except for maybe like GLs. But um, the other thing I've noticed is it seems like they've been coming out with a lot of new um, uh, debuffs or whatever. Like this one, he's got the, what did they call this? Dismember and Disarm? But anyways, yeah, and the last one or a couple ago that came out had a de debuff as well. I mean, it's cool keeping the game fresh and stuff, but it's just goofy coming up with all these things just for one character, though. It doesn't go to other characters. It just goes with that one character that they come up with. <laughs> anyways, continuing on. Um, oh, Hot Cartel Ally stack offense when critically hit through his leader ability. He's going to have a leader ability? It's kind of odd to see him having a leader ability because in the show he was just kind of like a one-man army. So, I mean, I guess that would make him a leader, but he's a leader of himself. Like, <laughs> But anyways, a formidable ferocity. And Chrysanthemum can gain taunt and recover health and protection through his special ability, Ferocious Fusillade. What's up with all these Fs? Formidable ferocity, Ferocious Fusillade... <laughs> The disarm and, and the other one, dismember, those are both D's. Are they making a joke out of him or something? Anyways, his unique ability, Champion of the Fighting Pits, grants him additional defense and max health, along with health and protection recovery when he loses taunt. Ooh, that's decent. If all allies are hot cartel, yeah, they definitely made more hot cartels, because you can't have a full team if nobody else is a hot cartel yet. He also taunts at the beginning of the encounter and will revive at the end of the allied leader's turn the first time he is defeated. Okay, that's cool. That's goofy, though. He could be killed, and then the leader finally goes, and then he's revived after <laughs> a couple other characters went. The Omicron for this ability focuses on Grand Arenas. There you go. That's where you want it. Where he gains additional max protection, and if all allies are hot cartel, he is immune to ability block and cooldown increase. Holy crap, is that it, though? That's kind of a crappy Omicron. He just gets more protection and can't be ability blocked or have his cooldowns increased. Really? That's a terrible Omicron. That's like some of these Zetas they have, like, um, Veteran Smuggler Chewy's Zeta is so worthless. It's cooldown reduced by one. Really? That's a Zeta? <laughs> and somebody else has a pretty worthless one like that as well. I forget who it is offhand. I think it's Cassian. I think it's Cassian. I don't know what the details are, but it's something pretty worthless like that. Anyways, we keep talking about the Hot Cartel, so I just want to see real quick, um, if they did update the Hot Cartel. So let's check that out. You know what, I was going to edit this, but I think we'll be fine just leaving that like that. Look, that was a smooth transition. Anyways, Hot Cartel, is that here yet? Do you see it? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, nope. Okay, so is he, he's not in the game yet, is he? Okay, so that's why he's not added yet. 
So it'll be there soon. Anyhow, uh, champion of fit, blah, blah, blah. Add Crescentian to your roster by unlocking him in the upcoming one infamous wiki marquee event. Okay, the only problem with the marquee event is this guy was super, like, solid in the show. He should be a strong character. But, typically, marquee characters suck. So, what are they saying? They're gonna make this big, beefy guy be crappy? That's kind of stupid. Because, like, look at the... Look at the Inquisitors. They're all marquee, and they suck. Jeez, even if you have them Relic 9, they're still trash. So, that's kind of disappointing. Poor Chrysanthemum. But he better be good. He better be, like, one of those one-offs when you actually do get a good marquee character. But I don't know. Anyways, the basics. Works well as the core of a second bounty hunter squad or as part of a galactic legend. Job of the Hutt's primary squad. Oh, cool. We're getting a new GL. That must be another article that I haven't looked at yet. Or as part of galactic legend, Job of the Hutt's primary squad. Huh. So if they're coming out with Jabba, who would be the light side counterpart? They always do a light side counterpart that makes sense. You know, Rey and Kylo, Lord Vader and Kenobi, um, C and and Master Luke. I mean, I guess that didn't really make too much sense, but those were like the big characters in 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 uh, the Rise of Skywalker. Well, I guess actually in the Skywalker. I don't know. You know what I mean, though. So who would be the only thing I could really think of would be like either like a GL Han. I'd say a GL Greedo as a joke, but that's that would be too dark side, so it can't be that. The other one I'd say is Luke, but they already have a GL Luke. Why would you have another one, like GL Jedi Knight Luke or something weird? I don't know. What would be the opposite, like a light side perfect counter to Jabba, though? I don't know. Hmm. Anyways, that's cool, though. Jabba. I've, saw, I've seen Jabba the Hutt um, fan art from a while ago, just like I saw Lord Vader from a while ago, and then Lord Vader actually became real. So now I'm wondering if these fan arts are fan arts or if it's people who hacked into like CG's <laughs> networks and found these just lingering around and released them. Anyways, that's cool. That'll be cool to get into the Java story. That, uh, that Maybe that's, that's got to be out there. You could, they couldn't put that article, I mean, they couldn't put that in this article and not have anything about them. So that'll be fun to read about that. If it's anything like the last GL releases, they kind of spread that article out though. Like it's, you get little by little, you get each of the requirements and stuff little by little. But. Anyway, multiple ways to gain taunt and additional taunt synergy. Bounty hunter contract that requires your team to defeat the opposing leader. Oh, that's kind of a dick contract. Jeez, the contracts half the time are difficult as it is. They need you to you need to kill a leader first. So forget a team that has good tanks. <laughs> You'll never get your contract activated. Omicron for the Grand Arena game mode, which further enhances his tanking abil capabilities. Yeah, it's it sounds pretty worthless based on what they set up above though. Unique attributes. He's the second bounty hunter tank to help add flexibility for bounty hunter teams. Wow, is that true? Is Bosk the only other tank? I never thought of that before, but I think he is. Huh, that's weird. Introduces the new Hot Cartel tag, which has deep synergistic ties to Galactic Legend Job of the Hot. Well, that would make sense, obviously. Hot, duh. Down but not out. If defeated, Chrysanthemum can be revived when you need him most through his unique ability, Champion of the Fighting Pits. He introduces the Disarm debuff, a unique and potent effect with a similar power level to Treya's Isolate or Thrawn's Fracture debuffs. Ooh, Fracture is good. I can't say that I like Isolate. Every time I use Isolate, it just seems stupid. I'm like, what did I just do? This does nothing. Usually when I isolate a character, they seem to die right, out, right away. Like, it becomes like a marked or something. I don't know. Disarm. Minus 50% critical damage and offense doesn't stack with critical damage down or offense down. Whenever this character uses a basic ability, they gain damage over time for two turns, which can't be resisted. Yeah, that sucks. Basic, I mean, the other one, the other moves get cooldowns. Basic is always available, so like they, you could easily start stacking <laughs> damage over times. Inspiration! Chrysanthemum's story, uh, history stretches back to the first issue of Darth Vader comic, and he's had a lot of different careers. Mostly just being a badass. <laughs> just remember, pays off the Wookiee reputation this member pays off the Wookiee reputation of ripping people's arms off. That story, that sentence doesn't make sense. This member pays off the Wookiee reputation of ripping people's arms off. I don't know. With the damage over time standing in for a character bleeding out. Oh, that makes sense. His bounty hunter contract, Defeat the Enemy Leader, which is ridiculous, really leans into how he was hired by the twins to take out Boba Fett. Who were the twins? Oh, is that those two at the at the restaurant thing? 
No, 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 those were just servants. Who are the twins? Oh, the twins, the other Jabba's. I know, yeah, the other huts. They were twins? I didn't know what their relationship was. I thought they were just a couple. <laughs> Champion of the Fighting Pits was inspired by the fact that he's so hard to keep down and he will reappear at a critical moment. Yep, he is quite a sturdy guy. Strategy tips. Utilize the power of disarm on particularly powerful foes to reduce their offensive power. Stack defense and health mods to further improve his resilience. Very synergistic with Hot Cartel tag characters. Like, no shit. <laughs> Stack defense and health mods to further improve his resilience. Well, yeah, I mean, if it's all about potency, you actually, I mean, protection. You really want to make his protection high, not def uh, health. Fact. How many instances of disarm can be active at once? Similar to Grand Animal Thrones, Fracture, or Trey's Isolate, only one instance of the disarm draft can be active at a time. Will there be any existing characters getting the Hot Cartel tag? Yes, these characters will be getting the Hot Cartel tag. Boba Fett, Embo, Cad Bane, Greedo, Gamorrean Guard, and Mob Enforcer. Wow, Mob Enforcer? <laughs> Nobody uses Mob Enforcer. <laughs> well, I guess I don't have to look up who it would be, because they just told me right here now. Boba, though, is getting... Yeah, I guess. It seems weird now, because he's taken over from Jabba in the book of Boba Fett, but before that, it would make sense. Job of the what? Where can I find out more? We made the announcement in today's State of the Galaxy. Oh, there's a State of the Galaxy I gotta do. Jeez. The job is our next Galactic Legend coming to Galaxy Heroes. You can read about it. You can read all about it here. Yes, I happily will, but not now because we are just doing the developer's insights of Chrysanthemum. And next will be the kit reveal. So we can see him in action and see if he's actually decent. Maybe that Omicron's not as crappy as it sounds like on the surface. And yeah, until then, hopefully I will see you. And for now, I said see you.